Hello Pisces, this is going to be your May general reading. Hope you are amazing. Hello, I'm Amber. Welcome. So we are going to jump right in to your reading. Let's see Pisces for May. Ooh, dealing with some deep, deep issues in May, I see. Ooh, you have a chance to change those issues. And it may cause something of a mess, but you can deal with it, okay? We have whale, great worry for nothing. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. And bowl, plenty of material things. We also have celebration, fun, enjoyment, and wealth. Okay, so the reason why these issues are coming up is so you can move past them, okay? It's about enjoying life. It's about enjoying your moment. It's about embodying that, right? So you can achieve your goals and get where you need to go. There's no need to worry about dealing with old issues. I mean, we all get scared, like, oh man, it's more, it's more a uh, shadow work for me to do. But it's like just something that is, impacting your life that you need to deal with it's like the elephant in the room right so once you overcome this you will gain the things that you want wealth money career um, a steady or stable relationship any of those things that you desire okay so we're going to try to pull out three cards and get into it for you pisces Yeah, I feel like you've been skirting this issue for a while. Maybe blaming it on other things, uh, other people. But it's time for you to face the issue kind of, you know, head first, unfortunately. It's not something that you want to go down. I don't feel like you're very excited about it. It's almost like it comes up in a situation that you don't want to deal with or you don't want to get involved with. But it's for your benefit to do that. It affects the directions you take. It affect it affects the choices that you make. So it's it's really good for you to step into this so you can finally deal with it. Get it off your conscience, off your energy. Okay. It's like it's less, it's time for you to do, do less overthinking about it and more you using your reasoning to deal with it, okay? It, it brings beauty after, for sure. It brings an aha moment. It brings clarity for you. It's like you are, you'll move forward with more confidence and you'll feel more on track, Okay. Yeah, uh, by staying stagnant or by not working on something, things don't really change. And we all want change, right? Um, it's one of those things where you're kind of being stubborn at this time because you either don't want to deal with it or you don't want to get involved with it. But it's one of those choices in your life that you have to make in order to move forward, okay? Um also, it will help you connect in love if you've had problems connecting in love. It's like dealing with those past issues or dealing with those feelings so you can move past it. Yeah, the key here is you wanting to be happy and peaceful and blissful in the life that you have. So you can't hold on to the past. You can't hold on to negativity. You can't hold on to things because you're scared of change. OK, the key here is definitely to get you to move forward. So it feels to me like there needs to be a different or opposite uh, way that you move or deal with things. OK. Mm. 
Yeah, this is about taking care of yourself. Um, some of you have been taking advice from someone that seems like they want the best for you or they want to nurture you. But it's kind of like you have to go your own path and handle things in your own way. Sometimes this can be an overbearing parent of sorts, okay? But it is about you taking care of yourself. It is about you doing things for you, okay? It's just about you being content in your life, the situations you choose to or you find yourself in, okay? Um, because I see that the direction that things are going you don't like and you have a chance to use your own willpower or your own drive to change that, okay? Nine of Wands, the Tower, okay, and the Page of Cups. Do not fight change here, okay? Do not fight change because I see that you're doing that, okay? Do not try to keep things the same. I feel like that's your big enemy right now is trying to keep things the same when you're noticing that it's not working or it's falling apart, okay? Or trying to make excuses or... Trying or having doubts about what it is that you should do, okay? It's about letting that childhood energy, because that's what the Page of Cups always tells me, um, take form. So you can be excited about new things. Um, so you can, a lot of you maybe haven't been able to feel in love again, okay? Um, and this is your chance to do that, to be excited about love, to want to find the connections that you want. It's like it's your destiny to do that, but you have to overcome this big hump in your life right now. So, it's time for you to let your walls down, okay? Let people in. Let people in and do what it is that you have to do. It's like you need to let things fall where it may. It feels like it's going to be uncomfortable, Pisces. I can definitely see that. But it's for your best outcome. It's so you can get back connected with your emotions and your feelings about things. Excitement as well. But you have to let your walls down moving forward in life, you know? It's like you have to stand on your own with more strength in what it is that you choose to do and what it is that you believe. And some things may fall to the wayside, okay? But you'll be happier in the end. Yeah, it's definitely time for a new perspective. So you can see clearly. That's the point, is to see clearly, okay? And start working on your life, gaining the, gaining the people, the situations, and the achievements that you want to accomplish. The love that you want to have, the connections that you want to have. You have to change your perspective in order to do that. It does mean that things are going to fall apart, okay? Things will not be smooth and easy but you're doing it for a reason. It actually lightens up the load eventually. Maybe not at the first sign, okay? But eventually it will. It's like you don't have to doubt your progress, okay? Because you're being driven by your own heart, you know, your own intuition, your own feelings. You can trust them. You have so much potential within yourself you just have to learn how to trust it and nurture it and take care of yourself. I feel like I want to tell you, Pisces, that you shouldn't doubt yourself so much. When things come out of your life, it's because it wasn't meant to be there. There are cycles and things. It doesn't affect, it's not, it has nothing to do with you as an individual, you know? So be careful about holding on to things too much or too tightly because you think it's going to take away your happiness um, 
or that you feel lost because you don't have that drive anymore that that thing that was there before so there is a restructuring of happiness for you I feel like there are some things that you thought were going to make you happy or that used to make you happy that don't make you happy anymore. It's like reconnecting with your joy. That's what this is about. It's about reconnecting with your happiness and your joy. Okay. So other areas of your life get a change of perspective as well. Um, I feel like you start to look at things differently. Things that maybe have been bothering you, like maybe wanting to clean or friendships that you have, anything like that. You're paying more attention to those. Um, things that don't, that you've been holding on to that need to be let go. Okay. This could be items in your home. This could be a car. You need to get a new car. You're just going to go get the car, you know. Um, this is like just letting things go, moving forward, not not thinking, oh, if I let these go, I'm leaving a part of me behind. You're just growing up and moving on. It's like realizing that you were fighting a battle to hold on to things that no longer suit you. OK, it's like you're fighting a losing battle. So I feel like you're giving up that fight and realizing that these things are maybe just material or they don't really matter as much as you think they do. Um, and you're just growing as an individual. Interesting. Yeah, definitely looking at the things you're holding on to and how they're not 100% for you. But you're holding on to that. You're holding on to the thought. You're holding on to this idea. And it's like it's time for you to move on and move forward, right? For yourself, really. Yeah, it is unfortunate to let things go. It just, it feels like a terrible time for you. Like, this is just one of those bad luck moments that you don't like. And you're going to remember how much you don't like it. And it does make you want to get defensive. I see defensiveness here. I see not wanting to talk about it because you're right at the end of doing it. You're right at the end of letting something go and, and you just struggle to really want to hold on to it and not let it go. But this is your chance to, yeah, this is your chance to redo some wrongs or some injustices towards yourself. So you can live in the illusion of everything I was doing was fine, but I'm not happy. Or you can turn that around and make your life the way that you want it to be. Okay, Pisces. Okay, so let's pull a card for you. We have leader of the light. Where are you being called to ser serve and support others? Okay. All right. Follow your intuition. This is your, this is like spirit calling you to take a step forward, to reevaluate your life so you can be more successful and so you can achieve the things that you desire. It's like a call for you to do so. Okay. So I love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.